as we reported yesterday, a nearly half million dollar federal study will look at feasibility of four laning State Highway 167 from the Florida line to Troy. Besides being a hurricane evacuation route and the shortest route to Panhandle beaches, Mike Gerspan says enterprise officials say expansion of the 35 mile route to Troy would bring major industry and retail to both cities. Tragically, State Highway 167 has been nicknamed Bloody 167 by emergency responders. Now, over the years, numerous traffic deaths have occurred on this stretch of roadway from the Florida line to Troy. Enterprise businessman Ronnie Gilly operates a 1,600-acre entertainment venue along Highway 167 between Enterprise and Troy. It's considered the shortest route to Panhandle beaches. A decade ago, a state study indicated between 7 and 8 million motorists annually travel the 35-mile stretch. For one entertainment venue just north of Enterprise along Highway 167, the four-laning would definitely be an economic engine for the entire area. Four-laning has been considered the goose that lays the golden egg. When 167 is finally four-laned, we will pick up the larger portion of those seven to eight million cars a year because it'll be the quickest route to the beach. So obviously I am pro four laning 167. The Enterprise Chamber of Commerce has long supported the expansion of 167. Unless there's a four lane route, industry is reluctant to build a manufacturing facility. Talking about recruiting the industry here, they need to consider all facets. And one of those is how can they get their supplies and how can they get them quickly and how can they get them safely? In addition to tourism and manufacturing, the federal government has been pushing to create four-lane evacuation routes out of beach tourist destinations. The state of Florida is four-laning its north-south highways from beach locations to the Alabama line. As a beach evacuation route, the federal government is paying the lion's share of those expenses.